In this video, we're going to learn the most fundamental method in the jQuery library, which is the jQuery function itself. This file contains a div tag on the right, and what we'll ultimately be doing with this exercise is hiding that summary or div tag and then showing it again. I've opened the file exercise underscore one underscore two dot html from the chapter three getting started with jQuery directory. So the first thing you'll need to do is attach the script that we've downloaded in previous exercises to this file. So this is the script tag pointing to the JavaScript, which is the jQuery library. Before we invoke the jQuery method, we need to make sure that the document object model is ready to accept some of these commands. So we use the ready function to do this. So I'll come back to this in just a moment. So for now, place the call to the jQuery method, which is done via the dollar sign, and we'll call the document ready function. So the real goal of this lesson is to understand the jQuery function itself. So to call the jQuery function, we use a dollar sign, inside of which we place parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we add what's known as a selector or a jQuery selector. What we're trying to do now is query the document object model or query our web page to locate a section or an element within that web page that we'd like to perform some action on. In this case, the element that we're looking for is the div tag whose ID is jQuery summary. And that's in order to go ahead and hide and show the summary. However, in order to do that, the user will have to click the buttons that we've provided right here, whose ID is show summary and hide summary. So the first thing we're going to acquire is these buttons so that we can indicate that when those buttons are clicked, some action should take place. So here again, we're using the jQuery method to locate something on the web page and then provide some sort of action with whatever it is that we've located. So let's go back up to our call to the jQuery method, which again is the dollar sign, inside of which we're going to place in quotes that object on the web page that we're trying to locate. So we'll start with the button that hides the div tag and its ID was hide summary. So we denote the ID property with the pound sign and then we type in the name of the div that we're looking for or the ID of the div I should say. Now that we've located what we want we can perform some sort of action on it. In this case we want to respond to the click of this button. So whatever it is we'd like to take place when that button is clicked, we do by writing a function. So inside the parentheses of the click, we're going to go ahead and call a function. We're actually going to write this function right here. And the first line of code in this function is another call to the jQuery method. So there's our dollar sign parentheses for the jQuery method. Once again, we're going to pass in what it is we want to manipulate on the DOM or on the web page. And so once again, we quote it and we put our selector in here. So the name of that div tag that we want to show and hide is a div whose ID is jQuery summary. So back up in our call to the jQuery method, we'll pass in that div jQuery summary and we'll invoke another method of the jQuery object. So the jQuery object is the object whose methods we're invoking here. For example, the click method and right now to hide this div, the hide method. So using the dollar sign creates a jQuery object whose methods we can invoke. And now we're invoking the hide method. We don't need to pass any arguments to this method. We're simply calling hide to hide what we've obtained with this jQuery, which is the div called jQuery summary. So our initial function is going to consist of another jQuery method call. This time the tag that we're trying to obtain in the XML file, instead of the hide summary, the button is called show summary. And once again, we're going to respond to the click by executing a function. And that function is going to call the jQuery method again, again dealing with jQuery summary, the div that we've been hiding and showing, and this time instead of invoking the hide method, we're going to invoke the show method, and we'll need to 
make sure we have all of our closing syntax for every opening curly brace and parenthesis that we've opened, that we've also closed it. And that would be two in this case, one for the call to the first click method and the second click method. Okay, so if we look at the code, you'll see that there's the call to the jQuery library up here on line six, but the subsequent jQuery that we've written needs to be in its own script block as well. So make sure that you have surrounded the code that you've just written in a script block, just like that. At this point, you should be able to save and test this file in a browser, and it should provide you with the following response. You've got your show and hide summary buttons, the div shows by default, but if we go ahead and click the hide summary, it should go away. And if we click the show summary, it should come back. So in this exercise, we learned that in order to call the jQuery function, which returns a jQuery object, we use the dollar sign and then we pass a selector to query or find the HTML elements within the web page that we're looking for in order to perform some action on them. In this exercise, the methods that we called following the jQuery object were the hide and show methods.